Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. As you might have seen before, uh, the main quest is pushing us towards, well here, Crow's Perch. Back to Crow's Perch and uh, ask the Baron's Sergeant if we can take the uh, little creature called Uma. Uh, we're gonna get to that eventually, but before we do that, there's actually another really interesting quest in this village. Uh, I'm not really sure about the level requirement, but I think I'm high enough. Um, if you remember Hattori in Novigrad, that was a master blacksmith. There is actually a master armorer in the Valen region. And he is located right here. Um, because there is a discussion between this blacksmith and his uh, assistant. So let's talk to Fergus. How may I assist you? So, uh, we are looking for a master armorer. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been at it 20 years now. Master the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> um, well, could it? Strong and light will do just fine. Comfortable, strong and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna! And the Don't assistant you pitches to stay in. silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. And we actually chased off Say the I find giant. The tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools, but only then. There we go. Know where the forge is? These legends mention where the forge might be. Yes, north side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Okay then, thank you for the information. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. So this is a really weird place to uh, have this quest, since this is actually a pretty early area. Uh, but you need um, access to Skellige for this quest. I think it's... I should check the level requirements. Yeah. So the level requirement is level 24, which is exactly the level I'm at right now. Uh, you need access to Skellige, plus it's probably a bo bonus if you uh, defeated the Ice Giant with Gilmar already, because that's the same island as uh, the assistant over there mentioned, Joanna. Uh, so we'll head to Skellige, back to Unvik, the island we rid of the Ice Giant, and let's see if we can find the legendary forge over there from clan porter wolf so see you guys there in a minute so because we've already been here uh, we do have a few waypoints that allow us to go closer to where we actually need to be because it's on the other side of the island uh, from where you would originally land with your boat or even the the marker you would have in the first place there seems to be a cave down here as well. Interesting. The roads... It looks like there's a road going over there, but... It's not really doing anything. Can I go in here? Yeah, I can, but it doesn't look like... It goes where I need it to go. The map is kind of confused, I think. There we go. I think I found a road again. Oh, look at that. I think we even found the forge already. 
There's an ice troll over here. I don't think the ice troll will like fire, does he? Holy shit! You're faster than you look. And there we go. Must be that legendary forge. To look around for tools. Yes, indeed. So this is the forge. It actually looks really cool. Um, and well, that chest seems to be what we need. High quality smithing tools and a sword. Like smithing tools, but ornamented. Gotta be the ones Joanna mentioned. Awesome. That actually went really, really smoothly. Um, there seems to be something over here as well. Pure silver and an empty bottle. Well, the silver was nicer than uh, the bottle. I just punched a goat. Yeah, that just happened. Um, oh, don't want to fall off. Let's punch some more goats. Because uh, you might not see that all that much, but I'm still on that much difficulty, so uh, I can't heal from meditating. So any food I can find is welcome. So, I'm gonna head back uh, towards Crow's Perch, so see you guys there in a minute. So, back at Crow's Perch, I still think it's kind of stupid that you don't have a... Uh, a fast travel point to get you up there because you always need to run around I know we can use the horse around here but uh, it's still a nuisance that you need to track all that way you lose quite a bit of time with that there's a sword hanging in midair here what the hell is this that's one of those wooden swords that the girl probably used what the hell Bug. okay so let's get back to Fergus and Joanna to see if they can uh, help me with my armor requests. But since Hattori's quest was a bit more involved, I'm gonna suppose this one is as well. How may I assist you? Well, I got your tools. Went to Undvik a while ago. Found these. Well, goose kick me. These look like the real thing. Because they are. Look at the markings. Authentic. How did you get them? Uh, I found them. <laughs> Wasn't easy, so I'm hoping for a good price on that armor of mine. Harman Ep Grunikan, Lieutenant General of the Second Mounted Army. What's this? Welcome to our humble establishment. A true honor to host one of such renown. I've heard the General's a connoisseur and collector of armor. This is true. And they call you a master of the craft. All too kind, sir. Truly. I, mean, I'm just... I need a suit of armor. Heavy. Able to withstand piercing projectiles. Piercing projectiles? Oh, bolts, you mean? Mm, that ain't easy. Needs a special alloy. Tempering. The new tools. We can do it. Stoke the fire, I'll ready the rest. Bold, your worker. You allow her much. <laughs> you know how it is, General. Good helps are to come by. We should go outside. There's business to discuss. It is starting to look like Joanna is the one doing all the work. It's always the same. And having I've all the enough. knowledge. <laughs> what about my armor? But hey, let's be friendly. What do you mean? Enough. They treat me like I'm nobody. The menial labor. Truth is, the Nilfgaardian, the one Fergus is kissing up to, I'll have to craft his armor. Yours too, for that matter. Hmm. So what's Fergus do? Horseshoes, nails, not much else he can do, seeing as he cocks up simple bungs. But in the end, they call him Master. No one would ever think I could be a skilled armorer, a human and a woman to boot. A dwarven blacksmith, oh, that's another story. So, as we thought, she is the master blacksmith and not Fergus. Fergus is just a salesperson. 
Hmm. Shouldn't allow it. If that's the case, stand your ground. Don't let him treat you like this. I won't. Not anymore. He can craft the Nilf Guardian's armor himself. I'll make another suit, and we'll see which one's better. I need but one thing I can't get on my own. Would you help me? Depends what it is. To finish the armor, I'll need to harden it, quench it in a bath. Oil's what we usually use, but I want to use acid. Hmm. Okay. Hickey Moors and Arch Griffins spit acid. Arch Griffins? Draconic Griffins, you mean? Baron's men came by a few days back, said they'd seen one north of Crow's Perch. It had killed some folk out there. So there we go. A griffin hunt again. Sounds like the old days at the beginning of the series. Seems like Fergus has uh, completed his business. Fine, I'll help Bound you. Bound to be a notice posted for the griffin anyway. Could kill two beasts with one stone. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Bring me the acid and I'll prove I'm better than Fergus. And I'll craft armor for you, lots of it. The kind no other armorer can. There we have it. So, let's get the gland acid from an arch griffin. I need to head north of uh, Crow's Perch, so I'm gonna have a little walk ahead of me. So give me a second to move over there. I've always found it very interesting that The Witcher, especially The Witcher 3, although it's infamous for its romance scenes, uh, dedicates so many quests to uh, strong female figures. Strong female characters. And that's a good thing, of course. Uh, we need more quests like that. Because it helps... to uh, reinforce the idea that women, of course, are equal to men. Not trying to sound like a feminist or something, but it is. So that's see this is where the okay there we go that's where the that's market it. told me where the Marks griffin Griffin's would be a veritable feast okay he ate someone uh, I'm gonna save first so let's see there's there are tracks over here for me to investigate the tracks first so Gerald knows what to do stopped feeding here move towards open ground to fly away there we go, so let's follow the tracks. Arch Griffin Feather. Must have lost it when taking off. Hopefully its nest is nearby. So, we have a large open area we need to check right now. Shouldn't be should be pretty obvious probably. Yeah, there we go. Let's go, buddy. Holy shit. Okay. Get over here. Need to be careful because my Quen sign uh, drops off every few while. So the screech just obliterates your shield, doesn't really do any damage, but uh, get over here. There we go. 
Manual shooting. And done with it. That was an arch griffin. That was awesome. Okay, there we go. Arch griffin mutagen, monster brain infused shard, amber dust, and the acid gland, and another trophy. And we're gonna need to uh, see that animation again, so let's cut off its head and stab again. So, let's head back to Crow's Perch Gideon. to uh, give the gland to Joanna and see what uh, happens next. We're back, and look at that griffin head hanging from uh, Roach's uh, back. I'm wondering how this will end, because I knew about this quest, but I never actually completed this quest. Uh, mainly because at a certain point when I did my first playthrough, I just needed to get through the main quest just to see how it ends. So let's talk to Joanna. She seems to be working on a piece of armor already. You're back. So, got the acid? Mm-hmm. Use it carefully. It's about as caustic as things come. I know. It's burned many a man where I come from. Arm's okay. ready. Now for the last touch. We'll soon see who's better, Fergus or me. It's interesting Geralt, that he let you uh, make that armor separately. Yeah, it's Looks pretty. Very professional. Welcome, General. Armor's all ready. Came out splendid, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Look at that. Rather coarse. I trust the appearance does not reflect the quality. General, I've also made a suit, if you please. What is the meaning of this? Um, Joanna is the artisan, not Fergus, because it's actually that way, so we're gonna support her. General Joanna is the master artisan, not Fergus. She crafted this armor to prove it. For God's sake, Joanna, what do you think you're doing? Samaria remains a wild land, it seems. Insubordination of this kind is not something we Nilfgaardians allow. If I may, General, I am Fergus's subordinate in appearance alone. It's what we agreed, as few would ever believe a woman to be a better armorer than a dwarf. You are right. I, for one, do not think it possible. But you are confident in your abilities. Let us put them to the test. Not on dummies in live combat. What do you mean? Oh, quite a crowd. You there, put on this armor. Okay. Uh, I'm just here to show me yours. Mine is not a request. General, I crafted this armor for a man. It can't fit me properly. Then find another to wear it. Yeah, okay. Geralt, will you help? Of course. Yep, there we go. Fine. Hope I won't regret this. Don your armor, both. I will await outside. <laughs> Look at that armor. Well, I am confident in her abilities. Look at that. Okay. Um, is he gonna fire a crossbow? <laughs> Holy shit! Um, the bolt was in his eyes. Um, dude, you're gonna shoot me in the face. Um, you missed. Gonna live. These armors rubbish. The arrow was in his eye. I wish to see the armor. It looks exactly like yours. Not even a dent. I am not easily impressed, but I must admit you have succeeded, my dear. Where to, dwarf? You must hear this. The forge is now Miss Joanna's. She will also assume all Nilfgaardian army requisitions. Is that clear? Well, at least he's fair. I as day. Your pay for the armor. I will send a man to collect it. Victory! Because yeah, that was I'll one be going to nice piece things. of armor. Just 
Get my things. Wait. We needn't part ways, Fergus. You've been a good helper. We could go on that way. But without the lie. Hmm. We did make quite the pair. Well then, go stoke the fire. We've got a customer. He needs armor fit for a witcher. And that's the way you to end certain it. You certain the armor would protect you. Admit it. <laughs> Believed you all the way. Master craftsmanship something I trust in. Something I strive for myself. Wouldn't have asked for legendary tools from Undvik and Archgriffin Acid if you didn't know what you were doing. Thank you for trusting me. Give us a few days and your armor will be ready. Come on, let me help you get out of that. <laughs> Well, that was a very interesting quest. Uh, I got... So now I can craft the equipment of the highest level. So when we reach higher level Witcher gear levels, um, I'm gonna need to head to her and to uh, Hattori in Novigrad to craft those. So wait one day while Joanna forges your armor. So I'm gonna do that while meditating. So, almost exactly one day later, let's Pay a visit to Joanna. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Well, is my armor ready? My armor coming along all right? It's ready. I've reinforced the joints and bathed this in acid, as my clan's tradition demands. Thanks. How much do I owe you? Oh, please. I'd not be here if it weren't for you. It's a gift, and thanks for what you did. Well, take thank you, Joanna. It. May it serve you well. Thanks. And you take care. Yeah, that was actually a really Wind cool sounding. quest. Um, I think you could also ask her where her accent come from comes from. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Interesting accent. Interesting lilt in your voice. You were originally from Skellige? Odd Skellig. Spent my whole childhood in Holmstein. Why'd you leave? Always had a liking for the smithy. I'd sit there all day taking things in. The heat of the furnace, the smell of the hot steel, the pounding hammers. At 17 winters, my dad told me he could teach me no more. Sent me out there into the world, bid me to hone my craft. A few years on, I had my master crafting papers. Then the war broke out and I landed here. Yeah, it is actually a really interesting accent that it mixes the two. But Take care now. Thank you, Joanna. Very strong character. And a very nice quest that ended in a really nice way that they are still wor working together. But hey, I'm gonna take a little break. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. If you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because any support helps. And uh, well, thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye.